Have you guys heard that Washington's State Fusion Center, the WFSC, has accidentally sent documents to a journalist containing top secret information, including details of psychoelectronic weapons and remote mind control? This is crazy. Muckrock News Agency has revealed that journalist Curtis Waltman wrote to the Washington Center requesting freedom of information about Antifa, the anti-fascist movement, and white supremacist groups. While he got the documents he was looking for, he also received a strange zip file entitled EM Effects on the Human Body. The documents, which were apparently sent by accident, offer a number of illustrations that show different devices and techniques that aim to manipulate the human mind. The file also features details about weapons that use electromagnetic force to induce intense pain in certain individuals. The file reportedly contained various diagrams detailing the horrors of psychoelectronic weapon effects. One diagram lists the various forms of torment supposedly made possible by using remote mind control methods from forced memory blanking and sudden violent itching inside eyelids to wild flailing followed by rigor mortis and remotely induced forced orgasm. It's entirely unclear how this ended up in this release. It could have been meant for another release, it could have been gathered for an upcoming WSFC report, or it could even be from the personal files of an intelligence officer that somehow got mixed up in the release. A call to the WSFC went unreturned, but we intend to follow this information as it breaks. It is amazing to think that this information was bouncing about a government office. Who released it? Why? Was it just by accident? Who knows? But it is another footnote in confirming our so-called wild suspicion. People have been ridiculed over the years and ousted from society because they were portrayed as being crazy and unknowledged by those who should have been protecting them. Certain people have been denied a voice for too long. These documents not only confirm that they have at least tested these types of devices on people, it also confirms to a certain degree that when we have a thought that something is not right and when we exhaust all other avenues and options, the initial thought we had when we realized it was not right was in fact our intuition warning us. What do you guys make of this conspiracy theory that has turned out to be true? Comments below and thank you for watching.